Hey guys, how you doing? It's Steve on the Guru Brew. Hey, so what do you do when your laptop or your desktop fails and you want pictures or music or some other important data off the hard drive? In this edition of the Guru Brew, I have an Acer Aspire in here for repair and the customer wants the photos off the machine. So I'm going to have to physically take the hard drive out of the machine, put it in a special rig that I have, get his pictures and then put his hard drive back in the machine redo the operating system from scratch and then put his pictures all back on that's coming up in this edition of the guru brew hang out for that okay well here's the acer aspire that i told you about that we're going to be working on just for reference this is an acer aspire 5250BZ873. It has Windows 7. It's an AMD processor. So I've already gone through checking this hard drive and the operating system is so damaged uh, from a virus that it's just not worth the time to try anymore to try to log into this operating system. So what I'm going to do is physically take the hard drive right out of this machine right now put it in this little uh, rig that I have over here. I'll explain all this in a minute. Copy his pictures off the hard drive and then uh, return them back on here as soon as this is restored. Here's what the front of it looks like. So before you fool around with laptops, you, you should always remove the battery. That's just something you should do. There's usually a little picture on the cover of what's underneath it, and this has a little picture of a RAM stick and a hard drive, so that's my first clue. Okay, so there's the hard drive poking up at me here. Right in the middle, this little thing here is your Wi-Fi, okay? And over here is your RAM, okay? That's your memory. And this little battery right here is your BIOS battery, and that keeps track of your time of date clock to keep it updated when there's no power to this laptop. That little battery keeps your time for you. Just like a watch battery. So most of the newer laptops are SATA design, so I can almost guarantee this one's going to be a SATA. Sometimes there's screws holding them, hold them in and sometimes there's not. You just have to kind of look at them and figure it out. So the hard drive after I took that screw out right there just slides this way. Should just pull it out. We're just going to set the laptop aside here for a second. So usually, okay, this is the hard drive out of that laptop. And it's a 320 gig. And the only reason why I took it out is to get the data, user data off here, like I said in the beginning. First thing I have to do is take this metal caddy off here, and it's just these screws, you can see. Hold it in on each side. You can see that this bracket has like a little plastic membrane. So we're just going to put that aside for now too. Okay, well this little Frankenstein thing is what we use to copy drives data. This is a USB enclosure that my boy bought some time back that had a hard drive in it. And you could read a hard drive through USB here. And since then we've taken the cover off and I don't think the cover's been back on it in over a year because we use it for this purpose now. But uh, you can slide a, a small SATA hard drive from a laptop in there or you can go with a full size and you can see how it just sits in there. So this is how, how we're doing it. We're physically taking the laptop from, or I'm sorry, the hard drive from the laptop that was giving us problems. 
and we're just going to copy it with my machine here. I've got my HP here ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and get ready to copy these files onto um, some removable memory. So hang on for that. And the big PC power supply on the bottom is just an old power supply that we use now to run this box because it needs a steady 5 volts and this did come with a wall warp but my boy gave it away or lost it or sold it or something so anyway we're using this one here so this is the sh shop laptop that we use here for copying files over and stuff like that it just kind of sits here and does nothing a lot of times so you can see the enclosures on looks like we have some activity here so it looks like the drive is now being read by the operating system this laptop is an older HP Pavilion and it has XP on it but it runs just fine I recently restored the operating system on it because it was running really slow. Okay, let's go ahead and, and uh, we're just going to poke around inside this folder for the hard drive and see what we have here. There's a user file here. So he has two folders. He has one that says Morgan and one that says public and I bet you I know why he has a virus on this machine that first one what's that say frost wire isn't that like a uh, peer sharing network that you can always get viruses from I think so anyway that's what I'm gonna copy here's his pictures so this is what he wanted me to save for him So, he has some. Let's go ahead and back this up and check how much space we're going to need on the hard drive. I'm backing up till I get to the users. And I'm going to go ahead and just do a right click on this and go to properties and see how much space it says I need. It's adding it up. I apologize for the filming of the screen. I know it's not a good idea to do, but in these kind of cases, I really don't have a, another way to do it. So I know I'm going to need at least a gig and a half, maybe two gigs, maybe more. I'm going to let this run a second until it calculates how much I need, and then I'll be back. Okay, so it's done estimating and it came out with like 37.9 gig. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it on my desktop here. I just made an empty folder. I'm going to go back over to the folder of the hard drive, which is here, Users. Right click. I'm going to copy this. Okay. Then I'm going to open up my empty folder that I made and paste this then, paste it in. I'm probably going to have to wait till this is all done and then copy this over onto another external. I hate to do that, but I don't have a thumb drive that's 40 gig big, so that's how I have to do it. All right, we got a ways here for this copy. It's going to take a while. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you with that. That is how you would take a hard drive out and get the data off and then copy it onto another device. In this case, I just copied it onto that laptop, and then eventually, when I fixed the computer, I hooked the laptop back up to it and moved the data back over, and the customer was happy. I wanted to show you these enclosures. I had one of them open on the table, and this is the exact one that was open. But this is what it looks like when you buy them. We paid about $45 for this one. This is a USB SATA drive. It's just an enclosure. Normally, these don't come with hard drive. And although we paid $40 or $45, we just recently looked this up, and you can get it for as low as $20, which is a great value. We also have, this is the SATA model. We also have an IDE model for those older drives. 
and this is what the, that enclosure looks like you can see this has had a rough life most of the time we don't have these cases on them we just take them right out of the enclosure like this you can see the hard drive is just sit in there there's a power cable and then it slides up onto these pins see there and this is also a USB device here so there's one other way of course and that would be with a desktop computer if you have a ribbon cable inside such as this you can put a drive on each of these these pins and then you can copy it that way too so those are a few ideas for you to go ahead and copy your data get it off the drive so your customers are happy so thanks for watching this video if you find it helpful please leave us a thumbs up and leave us a comment and we'll try to answer them as soon as we can thanks for watching and have a good day bye for now hey guys this is steve thanks for watching hey don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment See ya.